Ro Khanna of California. He's a member of the House Oversight Committee and Garrett DeVink, technology reporter for The Washington Post. Welcome to both of you. Garrett, let me start with you. What's what's the problem to be solved here in the story uh, that I've told? We we all understand that we don't have laws to control these things, and we all have options to opt out of uh, certain data collection. And it seems like none of us use that option. Well, I mean, we have the option, but the option is really stop using your smartphone, and that's really not an option for most Americans. You know, this is just the world that we live in at this point, and to put it back on the consumer to say, oh, it's our fault that we're being tracked, that our data is being collected by dozens of companies. This isn't just Google and Facebook. This is, you know, any app on your phone can be selling some of that data and they anonymize it, but that doesn't mean that that anonymous data can then be combined with other data sets, sliced and diced by other companies, and then sold on and used as it was in this case to identify specific people doing specific things. Congressman Khanna, how do you manage this? How do you propose the idea that the government does get involved in regulation of this in a sophisticated way without, you know, without crushing industries that are probably pretty good and useful to people, but this isn't what it's designed for, right? We're not supposed to, people are not supposed to be using Grindr so that they can be outed. Ellie, first of all, this shows that this isn't some technical issue. What happened to this priest is deeply scary and offensive. It's what Sojana Zuboff calls surveillance capitalism. Basically, you can use data to expose people, to manipulate them, to threaten them. And this is why we need an Internet Bill of Rights that has clear, informed consent, which informs people that you have to opt in, not requiring you to opt out. Uh, it's why we need to have data minimization. You shouldn't be allowed to collect data that's not necessary. And the consent shouldn't just be for collecting the data. It should apply to anyone who uses the data. We know what we need to do. It's just that Congress, frankly, hasn't acted. Europe has acted with the GDPR. We haven't acted. I want to just show some polls to you uh, both. Um, the Morning Consult did a poll that said, should con Congress prioritize privacy legislation among Americans? 83% yes, 8% no, 9% 9, 9 no opinion. Morning Consult did another poll uh, about that in which it's 86% yes, 6% uh, no, and 8% no opinion amongst Democrats. Then they, they asked Republicans, it's not that far off. 81% of Republicans say yes, 12% say no, 7% have no opinion. This is bipartisan, uh, but Garrett, do we know what good legislation looks like? It's been, California's got some legislation, Europe's got some legislation, Europe's done more thinking about this than we have. Do we know how you get good legislation that allows you to use your phone the way you wanna use it, but doesn't let people uh, manipulate your, your data? Yeah, I mean, there's a ton, ton of proposals out there. I mean, Europe has had uh, privacy uh, regulation for a couple of years now. I think a lot of people would say that it maybe hasn't been quite as effective as, you know, people wanted it to be. I think really the problem is that we've just sort of, you know, created the situation where commercially we're used to using a lot of things for free and the way that that's funded has been through advertising. And so you might download a weather app and say, oh, like this is just to see what the weather in my area is. Of course, I'm gonna share my location with them so that I can see what the weather in my area is. But in those terms of services that you agree to, they're taking that location data and selling it to a data broker that is then selling it on to someone else. And that's how that weather app is making money and that's how they're able to provide it to you for free. So that whole system would have to change. Congressman Khanna, it does seem that there's bipartisan support for this. Is there is there some meaningful legislation that can, that, that can tackle this? We, the, the hearings we've had on social media and the internet have, have not been all that fulfilling recently. Oh, there is. I mean, I, this was uh, originally after the Cambridge Analytica scandal. Look, I've been in Congress five years and we had the Internet Bill of Rights almost three and a half years ago, uh, every six months, they tell me the Energy and Commerce Committee is gonna come up with privacy legislation. They haven't done it. And it's because there are a lot of special interests that are involved. And Garrett's absolutely right that Europe's legislation wasn't effective. I represent Silicon Valley. Let me tell you what these tech companies did. They created dark patterns to get people to consent. So uh, basically they had screens that were brighter and boxes that forced people to check. So we need to beef up the technological competency of our regulatory agency. Right now, the tech companies are running circles around Congress, around, around the regulators. Thanks to both of you for this important conversation, Congressman Ro Khanna and Garrett DeVink.